All right, well, this segment is going to be how to remove uh, a throttle body. And you can see I've got the uh, uh, hood open, I've got a t old towel as a fender cover because I'm you know, leaning on the car a little bit while I'm doing this. Uh, don't need many tools. Um, eight millimeter socket to undo some throttle body bolts. I've got a wrench also just in case. Uh, small inspection light just so I can um, show you guys a little bit better and, and a screwdriver. So um, this is the throttle body and we have uh, the air intake hose. There's an electrical connection around the side and then there's a pipe down in here. Um, an air, air hose we have to remove as well. So um, I'll, we'll get started and a clamp. So. All right, so I'm going to try and get a close-up here. The electrical connector, and I'm just going to push on it so you can see how it goes. If you push on the back edge of it, this little front edge pops up off of a clip. And of course, there's a spot underneath you have to do the same for. So um, I'm going to do this. So you have to press them both at once, and then away it comes, and you can see uh, uh, it's loose now. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is show you the strangest weird little hose clamps. Um, so I wasn't sure how these worked, uh, they're not sort of a traditional clamp, but leave it to the British. So um, it's really a thing that comes over and hooks. So um, there's various techniques I've seen, but sort of the simplest is just gently prise up on the front edge. And you can see now, maybe a little bit better, uh, how it's uh, separated. And it'll be kind of obvious as you pull it apart now. Um, it's actually keyed into this actual unit. So that's it, you just pop it loose. And just a little bonus reel because this is the uh, uh, air intake to the uh, throttle body clamp and because it's so difficult to see it on the car uh, you can see it in profile here how it works um, there's like a little part that I mean talk about a over designed clamp but uh, basically it you know goes together in profile like that and that's its clamped position uh, and that's its open position so, there you go, bonus feature. The next challenge is the uh, air hose down below. And I'm just literally going to go in and tug. And that's it. It comes off. It's a breather hose. <coughs> and you can see that's loose now. Um, and then I don't need that anymore. I'm just going to grab the uh, air pipe, and pull it back, and that's it. Um, and it's free. So um, now it's time to get at the um, the bolts. So I'm just going to go at it with a wrench, I think, to start with. So possible reasons for taking off your throttle body while I'm doing this. Um, well, for me, I'm actually trying to do my oil filter, which is buried way the hell down there. Great design, Heston. Uh, for the left-hand drive cars, you have to do this. For, I guess if you're a right-hand drive car, they don't put the uh, steering box and everything there, obviously. 
um, so you can get at it from below only. But for left hand drive, top only. So, uh, <coughs> of course, uh, you might want to do this if you want to clean your throttle body, which is also something I'm doing as part of this two year service I'm on. That's the last one. Okay, um, pay attention, there's an O-ring here. So I'm going to remove the throttle body itself. That's could use some cleaning. And then right here. The, uh, the o ring. So uh, that o ring, so the o ring should be replaced and the throttle body should be cleaned. And uh, stay tuned for how to put it back together.